I, it's me, your girlfriend slash boyfriend slash day friend's favorite content creator. Um, they told me that on my birthday and I think it was nice of them to say that. Anyways, I want to talk a little bit about character design and intent because as I always do, I, I live on the internet. You guys, I don't, this isn't a fake background. I am in the internet. I come across things. And one thing I came across was a post talking about the difference in reception for Hades 2's Aphrodite versus Stellar Blades Eve. And you'll see the post here right now because I edited it. And at first I, I do a little bit of like a shit post, I guess too, because I feel like it's very obvious, but then I start thinking about it. Why not give it a little more depth? Why not go more in depth than just like a dunk reply, right? So let's, this is what the video is about. We're gonna do a little more of an in-depth reply to this. Starting with, I think the big reason, the big fact is that um, you guys were weird. You guys were weird about Eve. I know there's people online, I know the people in the comment section are gonna be like, you guys started it, like it was some kind of war, but it was very apparent that Eve became this rallying point for again, the culture war going on right now, the like Gamergate 2.0, and she became the face of it. It's Eve represents everything Western gaming doesn't want. Western gaming hates it. Western gaming hates attractive women. Western gaming hates boobs and all that stuff, right? And so you guys made it this like lightning rod of controversy when honestly, most criticism I have seen is just that a lot of people were just promoting it, not necessarily the Stellar Blade team, although they did talk about how they focused on Eve's backside, but a lot of the user generated promotion was just Eve sliding up and down things or uh, moving up and down ladders, just jiggle physics, looking up her butt and her boobs. Like that was it. Barely knew there was a fucking fighting game or action in this game. And so I saw like a PlayStation actual in-depth video. They were talking about, yeah, the combat is kind of similar to Sekiro, which I wouldn't have guessed it just based off of appearances. But beyond that, right? If you look, let's compare Eve to Aphrodite right now. Eve's character design, skin tight suit, right? Shows off the body, hugs it closely. It shows off the boob, shows off the butt, the waist, snatched everything, right? That was made with the express purpose of appealing to the audience, which sounds dumb to say, but well, well, of course we want hot girls. Let me finish. But as far as it goes within the game, it adds nothing to the actual characterization of Eve, right? Because Eve isn't this character, at least from what we've seen, maybe later on in the game she becomes that, but from what we've seen in the game, she isn't like a Bayonetta, or even like a 2B or a Lara Croft, where they are aware of their sexiness, they play into it. She doesn't even have like idle animations that like, you know, have her stretching or talking to the, the player or anything like that. But then you look at like something like Bayonetta, where Bayo is clearly clearly actively aware how sexy she is when she summons her little hair demons she does little like those little dances almost like stripper like dances and then she's like posing and she's gyrating the hips like she's in on it it's very tongue-in-cheek hell i mean even like the uh game will do stuff with like look at angles like look at her legs or her butt and her chest and like she's posing for it like she's aware of the camera she's playing to the camera right <laughs> You ever heard that expression, people playing up for the camera? You might see the content creators who play to the audience. They're like, hey guys, da, 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 da. But like, they're putting on an act, but they're aware of it. Whereas for Eve's character, it's more of a voyeuristic approach. It's, she's not aware of it. She's fighting for her life against these fucking alien looking creatures. She's not killing them and then striking a pose and winking at the camera. 
And so for her to be built the way that she's built and look the way that she looks, it doesn't play anything to her character. And if we compare it to other characters in the series we've seen so far, there's some, I guess, conclusions one could draw, right? Like if you look at, uh, what was her name, Taki? Compared to Eve, look at color scheme. Eve has like, predominantly, she's wearing like that kind of like, silverish white uh green outfit right whereas talkies wearing black and gold so you really have the visual contrast of black to white you also have the fact that Taki's talkies outfit looks more i would say more tactical like it looks like it, it might belong to a uniform group like a unit whereas eve's doesn't so eve's the main character she might be different maybe she's not clad in black because she is not as nihilistic or as myopic as Taki might be and maybe who knows Taki might be the in the in-game bad person might be like, oh, she was the bad person all along. Who knows? But again, from a visual standpoint, like body-wise, they have similar body types, but they don't play into what their bodies look like, if that makes any sense. Like you don't get a sense of like, oh, this is a no-nonsense leader, or she's a naive, whatever, because they're just built to be like they are supposed to appeal to a certain audience. That's it. Even the um Lily who very clearly is going to be a support engineer type. You could tell if you've ever played a JRPG, that's that's what they look like. It has the whole, um, sort of like in Final Fantasy XV, what uh, was it, Sid had when she was just like that? Like, it's kind of that vibe. So it's like, okay, so she's like the engineer, little cute girl, appeals, appeals to that particular side of the audience, fine, whatever. But none of this plays into the character. Now, going to Hades... We look at Aphrodite. Aphrodite, as we know, is a goddess of love. And Aphrodite plays into that as her character. So she's very lovey-dovey. She's very, you know, free form, all that stuff too. So her looking the way that she looks makes sense. In the same way that Nemesis looking the way that she looks makes sense. Nemesis is the goddess of retribution. She has armor on. She has a shield. She has a sword. She is muscular. Whereas Aphrodite is not, because one is built for retribution combat, the other isn't. You have Artemis, who looks childlike, but chronologically, like Artemis is a younger god, like in Greek mythology, her and Apollo. So, like, she has a little of her green tinge to her skin. She has, like, deer skin and all, like, let's you know, because she's a hunter, she's a with nature. Like, it all plays into their character and what they're about. Like, everything about these characters plays into the character. So visually it plays into their personality or their goals or whatever. That's how character design just works in general. If we take it out of these two games, uh, Devil May Cry, look at Dante and Virgil. Dante and Virgil are brothers, they have the same face. Uh, they're brothers, but you look at Dante's style, bold, red, he doesn't wear shirts, he shows off his body a lot. You know, he's very flippant, he is very, you know, sarcastic. And then you have Virgil, who looks like he came from like the 16th century, he looks like a fucking interview with the vampire. Like, but that's his personality. He's very reserved. He is uh, more action than words, right? He doesn't need to be brave and all talk about the bravado. But what he is with Dante, it comes out of him because Dante brings that out of him. But as far as the visually it goes, if you were to look at Dante and look at Virgil, you could pretty much surmise their personalities, especially in comparison, red, blue, right? You have complementary colors, sure, but still, one's red, one's blue. We associate that with differences. Red usually being hot, temperamental, more emotional, which is Dante, and then blue being more cold, reserved, which is Virgil. All of that is like, and this isn't new show I'm telling you guys, it's all basic, like, yeah, you know color theory, yeah, you know film theory, yeah, you played a video game, but that's the point. Going back to Hades, you can compare every character within Hades to another character, and they, while well, yes, they're all hot in their own way, mostly because the artist is a fucking god with the pen, but they are all different from each other. You wouldn't confuse them. There is no, like, why does this person look like this? Why do they wear like that? It's like, oh, this is cluing me into something about their character. Whereas, what we've seen in Stellar Blade, the characters are just hot to be hot, which isn't bad. I want you to understand that that's not necessarily bad when the reaction to one is I'm going to have gifts of just the character swinging around to look at the jiggle physics and the other is people going insane over the combat and the story like in Hades, 
you can see why it might be a different reaction. It's what you guys are perceiving. You're focusing on those two things. We aren't mad at hot characters. But if all they are are just hot characters for the sake of being hot, it's not going to do as much as characters who happen to be attractive but also are well-written, are also, you know, part of a great combat, a good story. Like, And again, we don't know the depth of Stellar Blade. For all we know, it could be like near Automata where it just hour or two into it, it just boom, the story just takes over and it's like, oh my God, you can't put it down. Who knows? I'm not saying it's bad. But what I am saying is the reason why there's such a difference in reception, at least a perceived difference in reception, is because of those two factors. People were being really weird about Stellar Blade to the point where most of the online discourse was just, you guys don't like hot women versus the actual content of the game itself. And Hades is a sequel to a game that we all fucking loved. So we already have our cued in for that and it's more of what we liked. And we always liked how the characters looked because like I've said countless times, this was never about hot characters not being allowed. That was never the narrative. One side wanted that to be a narrative. So they cherry picked and then made that That's what every criticism is. A lot of the criticism, like I said before, was people talking about how Eve is not aware of her own sexiness. So it comes off as more voyeuristic. And that's not, again, necessarily a bad thing. Some people like voyeurism. Clearly the Shift Up team wants you to be a little bit voyeuristic with their character, but that is not universally sexy. It's it's at the very least, it's very bare bones. It's very sexy 101. A butt and titties, like that's very, that's bare bones. But you get different kind of sexy in, uh, in Hades. Because we're a flow through both. Like, Look at Hephaestus. You want a little chunky boy? Hephaestus. You want some little more lithe? Uh, Poseidon. You want someone who can absolutely destroy you? Nemesis. And then the first game, Megara. Like, you, even I think Sisyphus. Like, you have different varieties, different options. And again, these are Greek characters, so Greek gods. You're, you expect them to be uh, a, a certain level of attraction. You expect them to have a certain level of physicality to them. And this game does that and more. So, like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about real quick. It's just, it's intent, you guys. It's, it's, it's the intention of the design. What does it inform you? Is it informing of the character, of the environment? It, would it be out of place if, you know, you popped in this game and you saw someone in full body armor? Would it be out of place if wearing a bikini? Like, stuff like that. Why would this person, for example, be wearing a bikini in a battle? Is this person a very free spirit? Are they very open with their body? Are they very, you know, just like... I do what I do whenever I want. Is Eve the kind of person who's like, I'm wearing this skin tight bodysuit because I love showing off my body? Or is it because the designers, like the audience will like this? That's that's where this is coming from. All right. Basically, stop being weird about this shit, please. Please stop being weird. I made a whole video about people being weird about it. And I made another video about someone being particularly weird to the point where they made a music video talking about taking gaming back from the woke soys and it's like then you're gonna ask why people are reacting a certain way that's that's weird we know why we're acting a certain way you guys are being weird stop being weird about this please